in addition, Michelle just being an amazing actress, she's an amazing screen presence, and there's a familiarity of her as, as a movie star. We knew that the, you're asking a lot for the audience to invest in the finding of someone that you've never met, that you, you don't know who this person is. Clearly, it's important to the characters here, and clearly, as a, as, a, as a lost wife and a lost mother, you can understand the importance of that relationship. Uh, but we knew we needed an actress of a certain caliber and gravitas and weight and talent and ability and all those all those things to carry the movie through. Um, and Michelle, having shot with her now, is all those things, and it's been amazing to, to, to watch her. Lawrence was on our radar uh, a lot like Michelle Pfeiffer in that he was literally the only name that ever came up, and it was kind of a dream for a casting process. There was a meeting, he was into it, uh, he's actually a huge comic book fan and, and knows these books very well, knows science fiction very well, and was totally on board, totally understood what we were doing, and was very excited to, to be a part of it. So that, as far as casting goes, was uh, pretty, pretty flawless and, and, <laughs> and easy, which isn't always the case. And he's been amazing as we've gotten into to, to work with Lawrence. For a large portion of the movie, Ghost is behind a mask. You don't know who that is. So when that mask comes off, you need someone who can convey a lot in a relatively short period of time, screen time, and someone that can engender sympathy and vulnerability for what they're going through, but also still be scary as the heavy and the villain of the, of the whole movie. And Hannah checked all those boxes for us. Paul has brought Scott Lang to life with so much humanity and heart and humor uh, every day. You know, he's so funny, so naturally funny and likable in everything that he brings to the character. He's also uh, a co-writer of the film, just as the first one, so it's literally his, his voice and his words on the page. Um, and he walks that line between a, a guy that can't get out of his own way in a lot of ways, which is what Scott Lang is, and someone that you care very deeply for. Someone that when he messes up or, or does the wrong thing, you feel for him, but you also can't help but still like him and want him to, to be pulled back uh, into the to role of hero. And having someone do that and, and, and walk that line is, is not easy, and that's a testament to Paul's innate abilities as an actor, as a comedian, and as a writer. Well, I mean, the film, not by accident, isn't called Ant-Man 2, it's called Ant-Man and the Wasp. And it's really the story of these characters coming to their own as a team. Uh, Evangeline ends the first movie seeing the Wasp outfit that her, her dad has designed for her and saying it's about damn time. And this movie uses that as a jumping off point for her, for her character, for her growth, and for her, uh, her teaming up with, with her version of Ant-Man and her contemporary timeline, which is Scott Lang in this world. And it's been fun to watch Evangeline step into this role. You know, the, the Wasp has been worth the wait. Ant-Man sits alone in the Marvel Universe. I think it's tonally unique. The sense of humor and the point of view from Peyton Reed stamps it as really fresh and really, really unique. Uh, there's a lot of heart to an Ant-Man franchise because it's about families, it's about fathers and daughters. Uh, it's also irreverent in its own way. Um, in the sense of humor, but very sincere. You know, it, it wears its heart on its sleeve. It's not a parody, it's not uh, winky. Um, and I think the fact that it can balance both so well under the hand of Peyton Reed is a testament to, to why it's unique in the MCU. It's both hilarious and completely sincere. And I think doing both is a real challenge and uh, Peyton is a master at guiding that tone. Um, and I'm excited just to see, uh, show the audience where we go with shrinking and growing because we're going to some pretty wild places.